Welcome back everyone to Duckman Cycles and VW Garage. We've been working hard on the ATVW whenever a chance could be had or whenever a vendor actually sent me the right parts. Yeah, that's right, I got screwed over again. But this video demonstrates a lot of modifications and bug fixes that led up to the test ride video that will happen later this week, which is currently being edited. This ATVW made a visit to my friends over at D&D Cycles, and later it also visited Cars and Coffee. I've already had my share of doubters on Instagram telling me that my video captures were photoshopped, so to dismiss the haters, here's a little sample of things to come. Interesting. <laughs> Yeah, how much? What you think about that? Well, for the sake of continuity, let me first show you how we got to that point. You may find this interesting as it demonstrates some of my best technical brainstorming, and the rest is just cake. So here we go. You may recall last week the clutch cable busted, so we jumped immediately into phase two, which includes bug fixes and modifications. On my list was to add a vacuum servo on the hydraulic clutch. I got most of it installed when I discovered that the flare nuts that ship with the vacuum servo kit were the wrong type. Unbelievable. So I was forced to order the correct ones, and yet again, I found myself waiting. Well, after more than two weeks of constant raining, that's when the new flare nuts finally arrived. So I took apart all the lines that I made last week just as the rain finally stopped and the beautiful fall weather in Florida finally set in. Could this be a sign of things to come? Well, I sure hope so. So here's a comparison of the different joints that I'm forced to use with this potpourri of hydraulic engineering mess. I wish they were all the same, but I'm just not so lucky. Some are metric, some are imperial, some of the devices require bubble flares, while some are double inverted flare and other combinations between all the above. And then don't even get me started on the banjo bolts that I needed for the motorcycle lines to get them hooked up. That's where I got screwed yet again. I needed some of the Euro M10 by 1mm thread, but these idiots shipped the Japanese M10 by 1.25mm thread. Absolutely useless to me in this case. I complained politely, and I was ignored. So I ordered the correct parts from yet another vendor. But not to be delayed any further, I just used another banjo bolt switch that I had as a temporary solution to get this thing working. When those bolts come in, I'll just replace them. So once I got all the proper ends made up, I returned the lines back to their original positions. Everything bolted in properly and the lines fit in tight where the flare nuts were bolted in tight. Unlike last time where all the lines were sloppy despite being tightened down properly. This all looks much better than before, so it was time to add some brake fluid and get this system bled. But before I could do that, I remembered that this Hayabusa master cylinder wasn't pumping the last I tried to use it some 10 years ago. So I installed the rebuild kit that I ordered last week. Alright, that situates that. Now we'll see if we can get some pressure on this thing. Oh man, here comes the rain again. See how much we can get done today in between the little... Uh, mini showers. Seems like as soon as I get started it always starts raining. There's not too much to this. Just pull the old parts out and put the new ones in using brake fluid as a lubricant. Then return the master cylinder back to the ATVW. Bleeding is really simple on this thing as I can reach both the master cylinder controls and the bleeder valves at the rear at the same time. Just a matter of pumping a lot until the brake fluid stops making bubbles in the hose, just like you would do on brakes. Of course, working up to the vacuum servo first, then down to the slave cylinder on the transmission. Once all was bled, it appeared to operate well even without the vacuum assistance. I questioned if there was enough travel, however, but we'll come back to that topic later. So I needed to install a large port in the intake manifold for the vacuum line to attach to. No, the vacuum ports on the carburetor are too small and in the wrong spot. I just can't use them. I need more sucking than that to light this thing off. 
Oh, that's nasty. Since I had to drill it out anyway, it made sense just to remove the entire manifold. No sense in getting shrapnel in the engine and fouling up the distributor, coil, fuel pump, and all the other crap on the left side of the engine in the process of drilling and welding. This is a task I really don't like. It's fiddly, and a lot of things need to come apart just to get them out of the way. The throttle cable, the fuel and vacuum lines, the end castings, the shroud, the alternator, the carburetor, just a nuisance. Well, once it was off, I found the stock intake port, which isn't used on most Volkswagens, was pinched shut by the previous owner instead of just booted over. This is a good enough location for the new port, so I cut it off, then drilled it bigger, and then bigger again. I ran the nut that I planned to thread the barb into into a tap, then ran it into the hole. This was just to keep it centered, and since it's not brass, it won't melt so easy when I weld. The tap also has a better chance of clearing out the thread should it get stuck, but it came out without any problems and left me with a nicely threaded hole. I used some special telephone tape that is impervious to fuel, and I screwed that barb in. It looks pretty good, I think, and now I can reassemble that engine. So I put the vacuum line on before I installed the carburetor for ease of access. This looks really good, but wow, there's a lot of things jammed together in that area, though. But it should still work okay. I routed the vacuum line up to the vacuum servo, and cut it to length, and then installed it on the vacuum canister. And then back went on the carburetor, the fan belt, and the throttle cable. I made an additional adjustment on the slave cylinder to pull a little tighter, but it just felt like it had a bit much slack into it, but oddly, when it was tightened, it seemed too tight, like perhaps a throwout bearing was up against the pressure plate. So uh, this is something that I'm probably going to have to address later, and you'll hear me talking about it probably in a future video. After all that was done, I had picked up a late model bay window bus shifter from Deck Lid Don at Tech Session a few weeks ago. It was exactly what I was looking for. It had a decent shifter length, but the bends in it were all wrong. I was told by some people on the SAMA that a bay window bus shifter just won't fit on a Beetle platform without actually telling me why. Upon comparing this to a Beetle shifter, I found that the ball was about 3 quarter inch lower on the bottom of the shifter. Since I had to cut it anyway to reorient the factory bend, it's not really a problem anyway for me, is it? Well, I guess not. So I cut the ball back off and removed a little bit of the rod, then tacked the shifter back together in a few places and tested it. It seemed to work pretty well until the ball broke off, and that's annoying but it just needs proper welds, so off the shifter came yet again. Ah! <laughs> that little ball is missing. So I guess when I was uh, self-shuffling my shifter, my ball fell off. <laughs> There's the ball right in here. I wonder if it's gonna come out. Ah, now. Yeah, there it is. There we go. I guess I gotta weld that back on. This was a bay window bus shifter. The shaft that sticks down here on the bottom with the ball is a little bit longer than that of a uh, early split window bus shifter or a beetle shifter for that matter and a bay window bus shifter could be made this I only tacked it on there I did a real shitty job of that just to see if it was gonna work I didn't expect it to break and I kind of forgot that I was gonna weld it back together anyway yeah you can see in there where I didn't get adequate penetration but that's because it wasn't done <laughs> alright well I guess uh, let's weld that back together and put it back together yeah there we go Welded the head back on my dick, and then I gotta put this little dick into the dick hole right here, and that little divot points forwards. So that goes back in just like so with the spring and the plate, and the yeah, that should get it. Okay, well, in she goes. Damn mosquitoes. Alright, 
I guess I need uh, to put my knob back on my dick. At this point, everything is looking like it should be working, so I figured it was time to put it back together for yet another test ride. I think that's gonna work. I gotta snug it up just a little bit because it needs to go, uh, needs to release the clutch with a little more, a little more travel. Not much, not much. Uh, if wing nut terms based on a cable clutch, I would say turn it about one full revolution. That's probably what we'll do down at the bottom there. And I think it'll be good, but the handle now, oh geez, even just uh, with it not running, just the hydraulic alone, actually isn't too bad but with the uh, vacuum advance on there it's uh it's as soft as my ninja 250 that's kind of impressive okay well, let's make a few adjustments need to put air in this tire too one of the dingle dorfers watching one of the more recent videos said you got flat tires obviously he didn't watch the whole damn video <laughs> and there you have it success I was planning to take it to DND Cycles the next day for a video, then after that to a local parking lot for a ride. And if it all works out as I hope, then it goes to Cars and Coffee the next day. Those videos and more are coming up later this week, so make sure that you comment and subscribe, and don't forget to tug that dangle wheelie so you get an alert when I upload that next video. Don't forget to check out DuckShit.net for all my different social media links if you'd like to get in contact with me, or just email me through the website or at DuckmanCycles at DuckShit.net. Thanks again, everyone, and we'll be back soon.